Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. So we're gonna peel this splash shield back. Uh, it also will make it easier if you turn your wheel to the inside on whatever side you're working on so that you can open this up. It's held in with some seven millimeter self-tapping screws and some push clips. I'm gonna start with the seven millimeter self-tapping screws. Using a flat bladed screwdriver or a trim clip tool, I'm gonna work these barbed clips out Fold this up. Now you can peel your fender liner back and reach in and disconnect your fog lamp. Repeat these steps on the opposite side. We've got our vehicle up in the air, so it's easier for us to show you these bolts. There's one here and here. But you could slide under here with the vehicle on the ground. Just make sure it's on level ground and it's not gonna roll on you. So we're gonna start by removing these bolts with a 10 millimeter socket. So I'm gonna remove the opposite side. All right. Remove the six 10 millimeter bolts at the top of the grill and bumper assembly. Now you can see with removing the last bolt here, the top of the bumper cover assembly and grill is pretty loose. Now we're gonna pull the bumper cover off its mounting bracket. Just give it a firm tug, it's gonna unhook. Like that. Repeat this on the opposite side. Now the bumper cover is loose. We'll lift it off. And I forgot to unclip the other fog light. Should unclip those before you take the bumper off. To remove the upper grill, start with these 10 millimeter self-threading nuts. We're gonna take these off. On both ends of the upper grill are these metal spring clips. Use a small flat bladed screwdriver to release the lock just by bending it out. Then we use the same screwdriver. Actually, I'll get a larger flat bladed screwdriver. Pry it up. Just work it off the plastic. At the bottom ends of the upper grill are plastic spring tabs. To compress these, to remove the grill from the bumper shell. So use my flat bladed screwdriver and push the grill out. Move to the next one. Move to the next one. Just work the grill out of the bumper. The 
The lower grill is held in with plastic push tabs. Start with one here. Move the next one. Just keep moving down the line. Helps if you push the bumper past it to hold them down. This one's broken. There's ones on the back side. I'm using a flat bladed screwdriver to push them down. grill was out of the bumper. So here's our old grill out of our Suburban, and here's our new grill from moneyauto.com. It's the same exact size, fit in the opening great. It's got the same style tabs, push tabs, just like the original. And the new one's really gonna set off the front of that truck. Installing our new grill, we've got our bumper up on a table with some a blanket so we don't scratch it. We're going to bring the grill up from the front. Push it up into the grill opening. I got one side started. There's one. There's the other one. Just push it till these tabs spring out. Okay. Uh, yes, you can see there's a little edge here in the bumper. This chrome needs to fit around that. Down like that. Let's see, I'm going to roll this down. So I'm going to take the grill, and sort of lift it up, get it over that lip and caught, and push it down. You'll hear those clips click in. Okay, and that's the lower grill. I'm going to install the upper grill. I'm going to start with the bumper. Laying face up, the chrome lip at the bottom of the grill needs to go into this little channel on the bumper. And lift it up. Push it down to lock it in. I'm going to roll it back over. Now that I know the chrome is seated over that lip, I'm going to push it up so it locks in these tabs so I can see them. I'm going to take our metal spring tabs that we bent the ears out of. I'm just going to bend it back in with a flat bladed screwdriver. Now we can place that on the end of the grill. That lock tab fits into that slot. Just to make sure it's in there, push it up, push it down, that locks in. We're gonna install the emblem now. We're gonna use our old one. If you had a new one, it would have double-sided tape. You'd peel it off, and you go up and slide it back in the holes. It actually has a locating tab on one side to make sure it's right side up. It should slide in there nice and easy. Take these 10 millimeter self-threading nuts. I'm just gonna tighten them down. Grab my socket.
gonna reinstall the bumper. This foam is gonna fit into this plastic channel here. bumper brackets here. There's locating tabs in the top grill. Line those up in the radio support. Clip the bumper into the bracket. Repeat for the other side. Reinstall the six 10 millimeter bolts into the radiator support. Reinstall the lower bumper bolts. 10 millimeter bolt. Reach up and reconnect your fog lamp. Repeat for the other side. Place the barbed clips. You took them out. Reinstall the seven millimeter self-tapping screws. Repeat these steps on the opposite side. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.